is a beginner's guide to invertebrate zoology. Boy, now edition! For now, Pangasinan, a third class municipality in the Philippines, is home to many marine invertebrates. Due to the lack of backbones, they rely on shells, exoskeletons, hydrostatic pressure, and even speak wheels. There are a lot of marine species our class discovered during our fieldwork in El Pescador. These are species that can be found on the shore, hiding under the rocks, and under the sea. To begin with, we have observed different organisms from the phyla Porifera, Nidaria, Mollusca, Annelida, Siphoncula, Echinodermata, and Arthropoda. To begin things, from the phylum Porifera, sponges generally have a simple body structure. Water enters through the pores and flows throughout the body in flagellated canals. Simple diffusion is used for transport of gases and metabolic waste. They ingest food particles by phagocytosis. Through the ostia, the sponge pumps a volume of water equal to its body volume. Vidarians have need the sites which they use for capturing their prey. They live in aquatic and mostly marine environment. Their bodies consist of mesoglea, sandwiched between two layers of epithelium. They have two body forms, polyps which are sessile and swimming medusa. Both of the body forms display radial symmetry. Diploria clivosa, this species lives in shallow areas. During the day, the polyps of the knobby brain coral are retracted into the coral lights, but at night they emerge and extend their tentacles to feed. The zoosantale are photosynthetic and up to 50% of their production is transferred to the host while they make use of the coral's nitrogenous waste. Fabites complanata, a darn that is commonly called larger star coral. Each forms massive rounded colonies composed of numerous individual polyps. Each polyp secretes a hard skeleton called the coralite, which is shallow and angular with thin walls. Mollusks are soft bodied invertebrates with bilateral symmetry and usually one or two shells. Most of the mollusks live in water, but some live on land. Mollusks have a thin layer of tissue called the mantle. The mantle covers the body organs, which are located in the visceral mass. Narita undata lives on rocky cliffs up to 4 cm with radial ridges on the shell surface. Columella with three teeth, pale in color with variable darker markings, sometimes uniformly bluish black, pale interior. Habitat, littoral fringe rocks. Lambis lambis, although large, it is often overlooked because the upper side of the shell is very well camouflaged. Elsewhere, it is considered common on reef flats and on coral rubble bottoms or in mangrove areas, usually associated with fine red algae on which it feeds. Cositriton origonesis has a raised spire about six distinct rounded whorls with spiral ridges and axial ribs and is separated by well-developed sutures. It has a well-developed siphonal canal, which is about one-third the length of the aperture and is open all the way. It lives in rocky bottoms. Cyprea sp. Cowries are usually egg-shaped with a flat under surface divided by a long, narrow aperture that often has tooth edges that may be colored. The anterior end is more narrow and the spire is usually only visible in the juveniles of most species. Annelida is a phylum consisting of segmented worms such as earthworms and niches. Some are marine and some live in moist terrestrial environments. The serial repetition of segments in the organs is called metamerism.
Sipongkula, also known as peanut worms, are marine and unsegmented. They have a soft body divided into two sections, a bulbous trunk and the introvert. Arthropoda is a phylum that includes insects, arachnids, and crustaceans. They have exoskeleton, joint limbs, and various combinations of compound eyes. Arthropods increase in body size by undergoing the process of molting. They can be found in water, land, and air. Echinodermata. Echinoderms are composed of brittle stars, sea urchins, sand dollars, sea cucumbers, and sea lilies. Their skeletal elaborations project outwards as spines or warts, thus the name of the phylum, meaning spiny skin. They are all marine and mostly bottom dwellers. They have also adopted radial symmetry, usually into five points. Protoriaster nodosus, commonly known as the chocolate chip sea star. The starfish boasts of a peel with its dark chocolate brown protrusions that dot the surface of the star. They naturally inhabit a large habitat with most of them common in shallow lagoons and can be found at depths. Synapta maculata, it is a large cucumber with 15 tentacles and varied colors, either yellow or brown. They may be found on reefs, sea grasses, amongst weeds, or below rubble. They are also commonly known as spotted worm sea cucumber. Diadema satosu. It is a typical sea urchin with extremely long and slender black spines. It is usually 10 to 12 centimeters long. It has hollow spines that are slightly poisonous. Eustes ventricosus. It can be described as having highly developed external appendages with body shape that is dark brown and has a hemispherically shaped test that can grow to horizontal diameters as long as 150 millimeters.
oldest fossil of an invertebrate dates back to the late Precambrian, about 600 million years ago. Fun fact number two! About 95% of all animals are invertebrates. Fun fact number three! One of the largest sponges was almost over 10 feet wide. Some deep sea sponges can live up to the age of 200 years. Fun fact number five! Some classified demo sponges have even been reported to live for a thousand years and more. Fun fact number one, two, three, four, five, six! Mollusk evolution began more than 500 million years ago during the Cambrian period. Fun fact number Seven. Some oysters may release over 1 million eggs in a season. Fun fact number eight. Our amigos avoid humans because they are shy. <laughs>